Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Aries. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, what your blocks and challenges are, uh, apply this to your own unique situations, switch the roles if you want. If there's anyone in the picture, apply, uh, I'll, I'll also like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to uh, check, uh, book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so what messages do we have here for... Aries. What's going on with Aries and love? Single Aries here. Blocks and challenges for single Aries and love at this time. For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles here, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Two of Swords, and also we have the Page of Wands here. Okay. So the Two of Cups. It, 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 it appears that your soulmate is coming into your life here. Okay, you know, with the Four of Pentacles here in the Hermit card and the Two of Swords in the Page of Wands, some of you guys might not be ready for this here. It does seem like you guys are kind of like distancing yourself from people right now, not being around them. Some of you guys could be do doing some sort of healing work surrounding your inner child here. You know, if, to, to me, you know, when I see the Page of Wands, especially the Page of Wands, it, there could have been some sort of, like, abuse that happened here, okay? So, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely working on yourselves at this time here, but it seems like there is a soulmate coming in very quickly, very rapidly here, all right? But, you know, I just feel like you guys are definitely, you know, more into yourself right now, which there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, you could be selfish. As long as you're not running around hurting people being selfish, that is okay, okay? Because you're taking care of yourself. Uh, the Three of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups, all right? The Eight of Wands, and also we have the Seven of Wands here, okay? This is really interesting because I feel like your soulmate is coming in, but you yourself, you're pushing it away. You're resisting it here. It just seems like your heart space when it comes to love, it could be closed off at this time here. Okay, um, you know, I do feel like, you know, for you, I do feel like you guys still have some healing work to do here. Uh, we have the Hermit card and also we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, uh, the Two of Swords and we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it seems like you're not really quite ready for a relationship. Like, I feel like there is a yearning for love, you know, looking for love here, but I feel like someone here hasn't really overcome something deep down inside. You see, when I look at it on the table, you have the page of wands at the bottom, right? This is a wounded inner child. This is the king of wands, you see? I feel like, uh, I feel like someone here hasn't really dealt with their inner child or healed from their inner child yet, all right? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, some of you guys are still kind of like taking care of you yourselves. You guys are definitely experiencing some sort of, uh, you know, growth here on your own, all right? But, you know, there is someone or that you are destined to find a soulmate here. Uh, but there could be some sort of resi resistance surrounding it. What else do we have for, for Aries? Single Aries here. What else does single Aries need to know? Is there anyone new coming in for a single Aries for uh, November? Not November, December 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Aries, for Aries here. Oh, okay. And we have the Two of Wands here, okay? The Fool, Aries energy, there you are. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The uh, Chariot, Cancer energy. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And also we have the uh, devil here, Capricorn energy here. <sighs> Is there anyone coming in for you guys? You know, there could be someone that you've been dealing with here. You know, there's some sort of codependency, 
okay? I don't really feel like this is new per se. I mean, this could be some sort of ongoing situation ship that you've been dealing with here and that you're still trying to move past, that you're still trying to heal from here, okay? It does seem like the situation that you're in, you know, this is, you know, someone here could be seeing you or viewing you as an option here with the Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. Okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Fool, and a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, this could also be an indication that there is someone new entering your, into your life that is very grounded and emotionally stable here. But, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, um, this trauma, this devil energy, whatever you're feeling negatively about people or towards yourself, you know, I, I just feel like it's going to hold you back from actually experiencing this new love here. Yeah, the Queen of Cups here. In the in the high priestess, yeah, you see, I I, I actually see you guys, some of you guys just staying silent, you know, keeping to yourself, or just not really sharing a whole lot. Uh, the chariot here, why is a chariot here? The chariot in the page of cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Empress here, Libra, Taurus. Yeah, you know, I I, I do feel like there's someone here. There's someone here that's coming into your life. That is going to nurture you, love you, care about you, you know, hold a safe space here for you. But, you know, I just feel like this is leading to some sort of confusion here. Yeah, I do feel like whoever this is, you know, this is someone that's way different from someone that you've ever dealt with before. Because I do believe that this person is very, will be very emotionally available here for you, Aries. But I feel like you're just not trusting it. Yeah, because I feel like you're scared to get hurt. Here's the thing. I feel like for some of you guys, because some of you guys have been hurt as a child, some of you guys are scared to even have children because I feel like you guys don't want to mess up your children. You know, obviously, you know, we learn from how our parents parented us, you know, and if we could apply new ways in parenting our possible children in the future, it doesn't have to be the way that you, you grew up right so you know this is about learning and growing here and just you know doing the right thing for you you know so we have the king of swords here and also the tower here yeah this is um i, I do feel like this is going to trigger something here yeah i do feel like uh, uh you know i do feel like a divine counterpart is coming into your life here but like I said, I do get the sense that there is a sense of pushing this away or resisting it because I do feel like, you know, you guys could still be reeling or dealing from some sort of broken heart or some sort of uh, trauma that you have experienced that you guys haven't really dealt with here. Um, so, yeah. So, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.